The Watsons are upscale. And Jason and I will be married. Girl. <laughs> the Taylors are down home. Jason is getting married this weekend. You know by now she should have come over here to meet me. They've got to learn to be. Mom, this is Sabrina. Oh, you raised a wonderful man. <sighs> One big happy family. Well, I wish I could say the same about you and your daughter. Oh, I mean, I wish I had met her earlier. You guys both get to play with two iconic actresses, too. Yes. I mean, Loretta Devine's your mom, oh. Angela Bassett's your mom. Tell me a little bit about playing, you know, with both of them as your mom. Working with Angela Bassett was a dream come true. I mean, she is just a magnificent actress. And I was very nervous the first day we worked together. It was the very first day on the movie. But she immediately put me at ease. We started talking about life and family. And, and we connected and we had a great chemistry as mother and daughter, which was, I, I was like, this doesn't even make sense. She's too beautiful and too young to be my mom, you know? This family thinks they're better than us. I'll break this wedding up if I have to. But you guys are friends in real life. So how was it playing enemies? It was, oh, it was fun. great fun. <laughs> great fun, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people have come up to me and say I I look I act just like their mom, and but then a lot of people may think their mom is overbearing. So I just I just felt like she wasn't that overbearing, but mm -hmm. everybody else She's was involved. differently. She's involved. Did you think she was a bit overbearing? She, she is a little overbearing and involved. She love she adores her son, mm -hmm. and that can you know take her over the take her <laughs> over the edge a bit. <laughs> I can call you pediatrician. This grown man don't need no pediatrician. Yeah, I ain't nobody ask you nothing. <sighs> I had so much fun working with Loretta. So much fun. On and off the set. You know, Loretta really took her being my mother to heart. I felt like she was my mother even when we weren't working together on weekends. So if I dared go to have breakfast without her on the weekend, I was gonna hear about it. She was gonna let me know. She didn't appreciate it. You know, and she's just that, that type of person who you just enjoy being around, you know? And, and to this day, I call him mom. I'm the bride's cousin. Help me, Jesus. That boy is fine. Kissing Romeo. Hate it or love it. I loved it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He cares so much for Tasha that before every take, he would come to me and ask me to smell his breath to make sure he was good. Oh, no, he you didn't, know, did he? he? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Pooch, am I good? I go, you good, bro, you good. Matter of fact, here, oh, pop a few of those in. Oh, he's so sweet. No, that's my that's my guy, and 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 as far I as didn't talent, know he did that. yeah. He you gotta so keep the breath sweet. fresh. Absolutely. Yeah. You, I mean, I don't care I whether mean, you. I had gum you, right hiding in my. 40, you know. 32, 20. You, oh. I mean, no guy, wa no, no guy wants a girl talking about, oh my God, his breath. I like, know. nobody that wants so that. She said she's gonna get you in the air with a computer. I heard that. Now, they're calling you the bourgeoisie ma. You okay. know, the bougie ma. The bougie ma. Mm -hmm. Did you agree with that? Did you think she was just very high society, hoity toity? Absolutely. I guess it's your definition yes, she of bougie, was. but she, she was is. all she's, of that. Yeah. Born of money, <laughs> bred well, you know, educated, you know, <clears throat> she's done well, very successful, you know, uh, family history that she's very proud of. If it wasn't for my mother, I wouldn't be the man you want to marry. If it wasn't for your mother, I wouldn't be questioning if you're the man I want to marry. So this whole waiting till marriage thing, would you really do that in, in, in real life? I don't know. I can't put that judgment out there. Everybody... It, is free to do what they think is best, but I do like the idea of making a man wait. I do think that uh, young women should know that that it's important to make a man wait, and also so you have a little clarity in whether or not it's love or lust. And and I and I can only say that I think that when you make a man wait, um, it only makes their heart grow fonder. But um, I myself, I. I'm already married, and I can't say what happened <laughs> there. But I'll only tell you, he had to wait. The one beautiful thing about this movie is that it puts romance first, before sex. That doesn't mean that they weren't sexually frustrated. That doesn't mean that my character didn't want it. And had she given in, he probably would have gone there. But it just showed a really human way of showing that even though, you know, we may have this sexual energy, and this tension and this frustration and still be physically attracted to each other, Rome, the romance comes first and I respect her enough to respect her vow. It's really hard to find someone who you are ready to, to settle down with um, and, and, and Jason finding that and me knowing that he's found that, it's like, okay, my, 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 my guy's found some love. I wanna make sure that I'm, I'm behind him and the people as far as his family, I don't really know them, but I know him. 
I know him and I want to make sure that I give him what it is that he needs to uh, feel that he has the confidence to go in there and, and make the right decision. Don't forget about your anger management classes, Pam. I'm going to lunch. Did that make you guys gravitate to this film? That it did show these two sides of African American culture and life, but that it was in such a positive way. Very much so. That it was all of that. The complexity, you know. Mm -hmm. And when I got, I, I saw it a couple of nights ago for the mm. first time myself, and I it's more than I ever dreamed that it would be. It's just such a variety of types and so many different storylines and little twists and little cracks in it. I knew Elizabeth Hunter was a great writer because I had worked with her before, but I just think this keeps everybody really juvenated. There was nobody sleeping in this movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a lot to look mm -hmm. at, a lot it's to see. It's more than you expect. You know, you, yeah. have, you go in with your ideas of what, uh, you know, a romantic comedy might be, or, mm -hmm. you know, when you think you can see things coming from a mile away, but this one, uh, it catches you when you least yeah. expect it. Why should people go see Jumping the Broom? You're gonna laugh, you're gonna be more in love with someone if you are, and you're gonna want love if you don't, and you're gonna leave happier than when you came in. Absolutely, what she said. Good answer. <laughs> it's burning, it's burning. Oh! Oh my God! <gasps> I know you ain't got your private parts out around all this good food, do you?